All right, so our next skill set on the middle school skill set for snare drum is number 16, triplets. A triplet is a group of three notes equally spaced. In this case, we're playing eighth note triplets. They'll be equally spaced over one count, okay? We're not gonna go into quarter note triplets, half note triplets, 16th note triplets. This is the basic introduction to a triplet. The counting is usually triplet, triplet. I've heard one lolly, two lolly. I've heard blueberry, blueberry, raspberry, raspberry. I gravitate toward triplet, triplet. All right, so 16, two sets of triplets, two quarter notes repeated, all right? That's gonna get our hand motions going. So let's do that at, eh, let's say 110. Let's just do this over and over, all right? Here's uh, the first two measures of 16, over and over. One, two, here we go now. Very relaxed. Let it flow. Triple the triple the three, four. Triple the triple the three, four. Full strokes. Full strokes. Very relaxed. Okay. Let's play it backwards. Start with quarter notes. And one, two, here we go now. One, two, triple the triple. Very relaxed. Let it flow. Yeah, and if you're a teacher watching this, or even a student, you can make up your own exercises. I mean, this is a four-page listing of basic skill sets. Uh, there are plenty of exercises that come from this. Uh, you can look at my book, Solid Foundations for the Middle School Snare Drum, on my Teacher Pay Teacher website, and uh, I've got several pages of triplets and exercises that just go into all kind of things. But uh, for our purposes here, this is just the skill set, just the basic 101 model, triplet, triplet, three, four. All right, so we look at the second half of 16, and we're gonna play one and two and three and four and triplet, 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 triplet. Right? Young players, inexperienced players, will often play triplets in a 2 16th eighth fashion. And they'll say triplet, triplet. So they'll think triplet, triplet, and they'll go triplet, triplet, triplet. That's not equally spacing the notes over one beat. So we are continually spacing the notes equally over one beat, in this case over four beats. So we're going triple, 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 triple. So from the, com from the first measure of eighth note triplets, one and two and three and four and, we have eight notes spaced over four beats. When we make the transition into the triplets, we have 12 notes over four beats, which means that your hands are gonna move slightly faster, all right? So you'll be playing this, So you hear how the, the hands speed up, but not too much. Uh, don't trust your inner sense of rhythm. Trust this. All right, here we go. This is the second part of 16. One, two, ready, and. One and two. relaxed, full strokes, all right? All the fingers should be touching wood, fulcrum maintained, not a death grip, nice and loose, but not so loose that your fingers are coming off the stick, all right? The fingers should all touch wood at all times. Okay, let's play that one backwards, all right? We're gonna play uh, triplets straight into eighth notes, here we go. One, two, triple it, go. Okay. 
So now, let's do this. Let's play the entire line of 16th without, uh, number 16, without any uh, repeats, just straight up, straight out, all right? Left to right, here we go. One, two, 16, go. Eighth notes. Repeat. Okay, so just make sure you're using a metronome when you practice. Make sure that you are equally spacing three notes, in this case, because they're eighth notes, over one beat. Okay, and make sure that when you are making the transition from eighth notes to triplets, that we don't rush the beat. That's why we need to use the metronome. Okay, so until next time, we will actually be on page three and we're going to play accent tap. Very important. All right, accents, taps. Accents, taps. Accents are 9, 12, 15. Taps are always down at 3. All right? Always down at 3. So we're going to play some exercises that are going to, uh, they're going to get into a little bit more advanced areas of skill sets. And I would uh, suggest that you go back and look at the other videos in this series to make sure that you're on par with all of the skills up to now. All right, and continue to practice these, get them in your muscle memory, but play very relaxed, very relaxed, okay? Uh, the saying among musicians and teachers for many, many years is tension, tension is the enemy of all musicians, all right? Regardless of what you play, violin, guitar, drums, flute, clarinet, saxophone, you can't be tense. You have to be relaxed, all right? Keep these elbows away from the sides of the body, but not out like you're riding a motorcycle, all right? Just relax. Three to four inches here, all right? Fulcrum, fingers touching wood, playing with just a wrist. Our wrists are flat. We're not playing with our forearms. There are times when you may play with your forearms uh, in marching band, when there are some, uh, maybe some visual things that you'll do, uh, which helps enhance the music. But in general, on the middle school level, we're gonna use just our wrists when we play, our small muscles. Small muscles are faster than bigger muscles. So you can play faster, play more, uh, more precise also. Not lots of precision, all right? 90 degrees, maybe slightly less, but definitely not like this because the sticks are should not be an extension of the arm. See a lot of this sometimes. Gotta throw that out a little bit. All right. Okay, so till next time, keep practicing and have a great day.